In the previous video, we learned that every module in Node.js gets wrapped in an iffy before being loaded. Iffy helps keep top-level variables scoped to the module rather than the global object. But as it turns out, the iffy that wraps every module contains five parameters, which are pretty important for the functioning of a module. In this video, let's understand more about that module wrapper. First, let's understand how parameters and arguments work with a simple iffy in JavaScript. I'm here in iffy.js where we have two simple iffies. We can add a parameter called message to each function and log it along with the superhero. For the first function, let's pass hello as argument. And for the second function, hey as the argument. If we save the file and run node iffy, we see hello Batman and hey Superman. This is how you specify parameters and pass arguments to an immediately invoked function expression. Now let's go back to Node.js and understand how each module is wrapped. Here is our module code. const superhero is equal to Batman and console log superhero. Here is the same code wrapped in an immediately invoked function expression. And here is the final code with parameters. There are five in total. Exports, require, module, double underscore file name, double underscore their name. By wrapping each module code in this iffy with five parameters, Node.js provides few global looking variables that are actually specific to the module. This is how we get access to require and module.exports within a file. They are not magical global variables. They are injected during execution by Node.js. Now what do these parameters represent? Well, I feel it is easier to understand if we debug our code. So breakpoint on the first line in index.js and from the sidebar, run and debug. When the execution starts, You can see a set of local variables in the debug panel. The variables seem familiar, don't they? We have the same five parameters along with this keyword which is available in every function. Let's understand about exports parameter a few videos down the line, but the remaining four let's understand now. First, we have double underscore der name which is the directory or folder name of the current module. You can see it's a string that represents the path to the current folder, which is Node.js. Along similar lines, we have double underscore file name, which is the file name of the current module. You can see it's a string that represents the path to the current file, which is index.js. Both double underscore der name and double underscore file name are convenience variables available for use within the module. Next, we have the require function, which we already know about. It is used to import a module by path. Finally, we have module, which is a reference to the current module. If I expand it, the file name points to index.js. If I now step into the function call, we are brought to batman.js. The double underscore der name remains the same, but double underscore file name changes to batman.js. Similarly, if I continue execution and step into Superman, the same variables update one more time. Hopefully, you now understand what the different parameters represent. 
the exports parameter and the exports property in the module object is something we will take a closer look at very soon. But for now, keep in mind that before a module's code is executed, Node.js will wrap it with a function that contains five parameters, namely exports, require, module, double underscore file name, and double underscore directory name. They are available for use in every module. So that is about the module wrapper. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.